Okay, I'm going to sound like a broken record and say this again. Something a little bit different here, but like always, the heavens always bring us something a little bit different, and this one's really cool. So this is our first um, armor light in a full height. So narrow track, but um, so yeah, but full height. So still that um, 16 foot six size. So I'll give you a quick look around it. Um, of course, on the front. Got the DA35 six inch chassis, tool box on the front. These guys have got a, a diesel header fitted as well. And then you got the bar lights, which are the wireless ones from Urban there. And uh, all the good stuff is here, so it's still the full alloy frame and fiberglass floor as well. Uh, this cool touch light, new light the Urban's got. Uh, really handy outside to have this, so if you're cooking and stuff outside, it easily turn this on and off, which is good. Another slide-out tray in there, so you can put your barbie on there if you want to. This one's also got the Dometic slide-out kitchen in it as well, so it's plumbed for the water under there to cut out. And of course, this still has a truss chassis as well. Uh, full underbody armour on here, and this one has also got airbags fitted to it as well. Kind of cool. You can see the outlets there. Uh, standard TV hatch in there. This one's locked. So this is actually a customer's van. Uh, we're kind of a bit jealous. We really wanted to keep this one in the yard as a stocky as well. But panning around, jump in for a quick look. This one's having its hand over done right now, so it's a little bit pulled apart, but that's okay. Still gives us a quick look. So beautiful sink there, recessed cooker as well, stainless. A little star. So cupboards up top. This one's also got the pantry there as well, which is good hanging space there next to the combo shower toilet. We just managed to put a cupboard up there too, which is really nice. This one's coming with the uh, new Novacool fridge, so compressor fridge again. Um, nice and deep, which is good. And then freezer down the bottom, and still has a microwave at the top as well. Little nook there with a full chest of drawers, which is good. Soft goes, as usual. storage at the back so I'll pan around and get a bit more of a view from gives you an idea of sense of space I've still got the bench seat here with a little swivel table as well and pretty much a it's a queen but it's leaning more towards a king size bed these guys have got a telly as well and a Sirocco fan uh, just there and then on the side too so this one also has a Odyssey link in it as well I still got to pull out footrest underneath so they can Oh, actually, I lie. I think I'm still learning with this van too. So that's just an access panel for the kitchen, looks like. On the outside. And draw under there. That's handy too. So it's got little nooks next to the bed as well. And more storage down the side there as well. And of course, cupboards up the top. Across the top too. There's your outlet for your diesel heater down the bottom there as well. And of course, a big beautiful BM Pro. So, this one's got the Swift in it as well. Hot water service. Alright, pan out. We'll go around the other side. Swing it around. Grab handles there. And also, speed for a generator if you want as well. A little slider. Or your Weber, either either, whatever suits you. External batteries, they look like a couple of 200 amp hours, and I'm most definitely thinking they're lithiums. And this one's got the 3000 watt inverter fitted too, and it's got the Comlink too, so keep track of all your power situations. And the Odyssey Link runs all your tanks, so this has got three tanks in it as well. So one of the more important things, let's have a quick look at the weights. Uh, she's teared in at just on two ton and has an ATM of 2700, so pretty much 700 kilo payload and a very nice and healthy 155 on the ball, which is good. That's the other side of the tunnel boat as well. So on the outside you got external antenna connection 
Um, that's your toilet hatch there for your toilet. You got grey water under there as well. That's your little valve, and of course you can see underneath it's got all the chassis protection too. So remember this, the beauty thing about this product is this is 100% Australian made. So you got bar lights up there for your shower, so you can put a little tent here too if you want. And then on the back you've got a three-arm bumper, jerry can holder, reversing camera. It's handy having that little window there just to make that little bit of extra light in as well. So yeah, very neat little product. Hopefully we'll have one of these in stock soon, but of course you can order one. Evan's already got the plans up and running for this model. So yeah, shoot me a PM or come see me at Great Southern RV. Hope you enjoy. Thanks guys.